Okay, uh, tell me about the aquatic monkey theory. Well, supposedly we crawled out of the primordial ooze. And I'm going to jump ahead and talk about uh, how monkeys are five times stronger than we are and why they're five times stronger than we are. The long and short of it is, we only use 5% of our brain, so if you think about a, a monkey, a monkey's probably only using 5% of his brain. And when we work out, two weeks, if we go two weeks without working out, we'll forget how to stimulate that muscle with our mind by 60%. So, when you break it down to monkeys, they're using their muscles all the time just for movement. They're not clogging up their brain with thoughts and how to communicate and how to problem solve. I mean, they do a little bit of problem solving, but anyway. So, we're not as strong as monkeys, probably due to the fact that we're interfering with those thought processes of how to move, whereas a monkey is always moving and always doing and always, always using those muscles. So, that's probably why a monkey is five times stronger than we are. But as far as the aquatic monkey goes, I mean, people have webbed feet, they're born with webbed feet. Yeah, it's two latent genes, but somewhere along the line, those latent genes have to be in our genetic makeup. So, why are they there? Answer that one. <laughs>